Egypt are operating on a spiritual level. This has gone beyond football. This has gone beyond anything that can be explained via science or physicality. Juju is at work. Magic is at work. Wizardry is at, is at work. Witchcraft is at work. Egypt have that belief. Which is why I say that these guys, it is destiny. You look at that game and you see, now let us be, be, be clear here. Burkina Faso were not the better team. They had more possession of the ball, but how many chances did they create? Because every single time, yes, they controlled the, the game in midfield and, 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 and defense and they were more dominant. But when it came towards attacking and in that final key third at danger area, nothing. No zero skill, zero ability to beat a man, no death touch, no um ability to play a killer through ball or one to there was no skill, proper skill involved in breaking them down. But yeah, they they played well, they they did their thing, but they did not do enough to really um unsettle El Hadari. But obviously Egypt got through with, with, with Salah, and I thought it would have been very unfortunate and unfair if Burkina Faso went down losing in, in open play. So it was good that they came out via and Bansi. Penalties. So obviously Al Said missing the first penalty. And all was going well for, for, for Burkina Faso. Now, I don't know whether Duarte, the manager, has to take blame for this, but when you are taking your penalties, especially your first five, Unless you know that the keeper is a known quality penalty taker, he's just known for being a penalty taker, he should come nowhere near that penalty spot. Nowhere near. Time to, to, to piss off. It should be strictly out of place and you just take it whenever you take it, whenever it goes to eight or nine. So for that keeper, very, very stupid. First of all, stupid of him to go and take the penalty because his head was hot since he saved the penalty. And irresponsible of the coach and manager. And stupid of him for not saying, no, mates, this is our five. This is what we will do. So uh, maybe it was a case of where they didn't actually fully um, <laughs> define who their five were. But El Hadari, man, this could be the story. This could be the story of the Nations Cup. Two key saves. First from the keeper, I think it was Kofi, and the other one um, from... Um, Bertrand um, Traore, two very good saves. And he wasn't even the first choice keeper. So the fact that he was a second choice keeper, the story, the story is there. And for Egypt, I'm sorry, I see something spiritual here. I see something on a different level here. I, Because whenever I told you, I've got, I've got a sixth sense. I've not sorry, I've got a seventh sense. And when I feel spirits at work, I know when I see them at work, I'm feeling something that cannot be explained by man. Here. Egypt are winning this nation's cup. It's theirs. I don't know how they'll do it. Penalties, deflection, who knows? But it is written because you cannot build, you cannot beat a team that is operating on a spiritual level. It can't happen. You know, because again, they've not played great. They play, they are, they are, they are, that team that won three in a row were much better than this team, a lot better than this team. But they're getting it done. And there's that. The key thing is there's a belief. But the bottom line is, they have the spirits with them. And it seems they have the spirits with them. There's nothing you can do. Click the, the, the buttons over there to head to the website as well as to subscribe to the channel.